I'm Jody Corey Bloom, and I'm a neurologist at the University of California in San Diego. And there, I'm actually the director of the Huntington's Disease uh, Center of Excellence. I think that there are a lot of benefits or potential benefits to patients, to family members, uh, even to primary care providers of having um, the loved one, or in the case of the primary care provider, their patient, participate in a clinical trial. You know, I think number one, patients are able to come to a center where the principal investigator, or the we call them the PI, uh, actually knows a lot about Huntington's disease. My name is Dr. Samuel Frank. I'm a neurologist at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and I serve as the director of the Huntington's Disease Society of America Center of Excellence there. I'm also the fellowship director for the Movement Disorder Program. And how I spend my time, I, I spend about half my time seeing patients and the other half doing clinically based research. Participating in research in general benefits the community. And it benefits the community um, because you're adding to our knowledge and understanding of Huntington's disease. And when I say community, that's the patient community, that's the caregivers, that's the physicians and providers who are involved in the day-to-day -day care of Huntington's disease patients, whether it's nurses, physicians, different therapists, primary care doctors as well. So we're really adding to that body of knowledge. Observational trials also have the benefit that many of them, anyone can do it. So if you are a caregiver that wants to help out, to contribute to the body of knowledge, there are observational studies that are out there that you can help, whether it's donating blood in a trial to compare what your genes are like to those with someone with Huntington's or something like that. Uh, and so the, the, when a person participates in human-based research, everybody benefits. The other benefit to it is that this is a component of your body that you can take control over. You can have some control over what happens with your information, and you can use that for a better good. We can't control Huntington's disease right now, but you can control some of the information that comes out of who you are as a person and contribute to a general database and our general understanding of Huntington's disease. From a provider side in terms of benefits of observational trials, there are areas of the country where people have limited access sometimes to neurologists and certainly to Huntington's disease specialists. And so participating in an observational trial, you get access to those specialists. You can refer not from a clinical sense, but from a research sense. And yes, we might have an, an hour visit to cover what we need to from a clinical trial or observational study perspective, but there's always questions I wind up answering from patients and families. And so they get information and education and they can take that back to their primary care, to their family, to their community, to their support groups. And so again, it's part of the dissemination of information about Huntington's disease. And so primary care doctors and referring physicians and providers can benefit by sending their families to participate in observational studies.